Whether it's Star Trek, Stargate, or Babylon 5, wormholes have been showing up in science fiction for a long time. I must have gone through a wormhole. A favorite theme of science fiction is the portal. An extraordinary opening in space or time that connects travelers to distant realms. A good portal is a shortcut, a guide, a door into the unknown. If only they actually existed. But if they do. What if a wormhole appears on Earth? They're much weirder than anything we could make up. Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Infinity Insight for more videos like this one. And ring the bell for more fascinating content. In 1935, Albert Einstein and physicist Nathan Rosen came up with the idea of bridges in space-time. Showed that according to the general theory of relativity, wormholes are a definite possibility. A wormhole acts as a tunnel between two different points in space-time, which is, you know, just the continuum of space and time that makes up to the fabric of the universe. Einstein-Rosen bridge, or a wormhole, is also a shortcut through space-time. That could link up black holes light years apart. And if you were to pass through it, you could end up in a different galaxy, a different universe. But only if you found a way to keep the wormhole from collapsing on you. The trouble is, no one's ever seen a wormhole before. And we probably won't find one anytime soon. The other problem is if wormholes do exist in our solar system, they're probably microscopic. We aren't even sure how they would form. If wormholes do exist, one reason we might not have spotted them is that they could be hiding behind black holes. A black hole is what happens when there's so much mass squeezed into an object that it ends up with such a strong force of gravity that even light can't escape its pull. Once you get too close to a black hole, you're toast. There's no escaping being smashed into oblivion. Once, the famous astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson put it briskly that if a black hole visits us, the solar system would have a bad day. After all, there is hardly anything worse than the ability to be broken into atoms. But we are used to thinking that black holes are somewhere far away, in other parts of the universe. But what if one of them literally appears on our doorstep? And if they appear on Earth, as billions of black holes pervade our planet, a black hole just a centimeter across would require crushing a mass roughly equal to that of the Earth down to this tiny size. Any wormhole that could accommodate human travel would require a crazy amount of mass. Think about it, the smallest black hole is thought to be the size of an atom, but with a mass of a mountain. So while we can't really calculate the mass of a wormhole that could fit a few of us into spaceship, just know that it would be astronomical. And its gravitational pull would probably redirect the tilt and rotation of all the planets in our solar system, and it will be the doomsday for Earth. Our Earth will disperse into tiny particles. But things would go back to normal soon enough. Wormholes are incredibly unstable and are prone to collapse quickly. This is because the walls of a wormhole attract each other. Which is why the wormhole would probably close shortly after it opened, unless you had some exotic matter. Don't get too excited, exotic matter is negative energy. And it's what you'd need in order to repel the gravitational forces trying to bring the walls of the wormhole together. According to general relativity, wormholes could have black holes at each end, meaning that after diving into a black hole on one end, the energy that was once your body could get spewed out somewhere totally different in the universe. Of course, you would not survive that trip. All that would be left is radiation and subatomic particles. Then there are white holes, which are the opposite of black holes. They spew out the matter with such force that it would be impossible to enter them but you'd still probably be crushed by the black hole in the process. Not to mention it would definitely be a one-way trip. And there are a few other problems with wormholes. For one thing, they'd probably be dangerous. Sudden unexpected collapse, weird exotic particles, a ton of radiation. It's not a vacation spot. In fact, traveling through a wormhole could instantly collapse it, because they'd probably be unstable. Unfortunately, it's unlikely that such matter even exists in our universe. But if you're already set on making a trip across the universe, there's just one more thing you should know. The laws of physics say that, but on the bright side, that rule hasn't been tested yet. Right now, we definitely don't know how to make a wormhole, and we'd have to be super lucky to find one that was useful to us, if they exist at all. 
but we know that they could be out there, hiding in some of the most extreme places in the universe. And who knows? Maybe our ideas about wormholes will be totally different in the future. We'll try to develop the necessary technology in your absence. But even if we could create wormholes and travel through them, is it worth tilting the Earth and rearranging the solar system just to visit another galaxy? Or go back in time? Let's keep watching science fiction shows about it. Until then, we will keep exploring the universe right here. If you liked the video, give it your thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so. Click on the bell to always receive notifications about new videos. Oh yeah, and don't forget to your tell friends about us, more fun together. Thanks for watching Infinity Insight.